Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. Today we are going to make gladiolus, also known as saw lily. Because saw lily looks like a soul, it is believed it can keep evil spirits away in the Chinese culture. And you can see them around, especially during Chinese New Year. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. First of all, take out 6 pieces of 26 gauge wires and a strip of white crepe paper. Wrap the first 5cm of the wire with some new glue. Then we use a pair of round nose pliers to make a small loop on top of 3 wires. Bend the other three pieces of wires one centimeter below the tip. And set them aside. Now we are going to prepare the petals. Place the template slightly tilted to one side and trim the paper according to its height. Fold the paper strip according to the width of the tutor template. Trim the paper into three rectangles, cut the paper across and put them into a diamond shape. Do the same to the smaller template. Use yuho glue to stick the petals back together. Cut a seam line for the bigger petals. We will need 6 pieces per flower, 2 pieces per big petal. You can do it according to the template or free-handed. Stick them right on top of the attachment point. Try to place it as middle as possible. Your petals should look like this. Make sure your petal grains are showing a V shape like the above. It is very similar to leaf making. Place the petals on top of each other and cut them out according to the template. Paper clips will be very useful to hold them together. Next, colouring. I'm going to mix the purple with some soft pastel. I've used two blues, red and magenta to mix into my dark purple. The ratio is about 1 to 1. Test your colour before you apply onto the petals. Colour the top of the petals by following its grain. The edges always have the strongest colour and bring it down to the middle. Do the same to all the petals. Use the remaining pastel to colour the tips of the bent wire to represent the pollens. They should look like this. 
Now we are going to work with the budding petals. Cut the petals out. We need about 5 to 8 petals for each budding flower. Colour the tip of the petals from top to the middle. We are going to put our flower center together. First, we wrap the three loop wires together. Wrap about two centimeters. And we add another pollen wire. Wrap them together with a small distance in between them. Wrap the wire bundles for about 10 centimeters. Your finished flower center should look like this. Shaping time. Pick a good looking side to be the top. Curl the petal with your fingers. Bend the edges with a pair of tweezers. Open up the foldings and twist them into this ruffle edges. Give the petal a little more shaping. Do the same to all six petals. They should look like this. Now we can put the flower together. First, the big petal in the middle. Add the other two to the side behind the first. Add two small petals to the bottom. And the last one in between. Your finished flower should look like this. Next, some bottom leaves. Cut the bottom leaves out. Fold the leaves and bend the first 3 to 4 cm to one side. Open up the leaves and place it right under the flower. Cut the 22 gauge wire into 3 pieces. Bend a loop on the top. Open up the top of the budding flower into ruffles. Add 3 pieces to the wire. Grab a strip of white crepe paper to the bottom half of the flower. We want to shape into a pear shape. Get another two pieces of petals to cover the red bottom. You can open the budding flowers up with a pair of tweezers. Cut two pieces of the bottom leaves for the budding flower. Similar to the bottom leaves on the flower, 
Burn the first 3 to 4 cm to one side. Attach the leaves to the budding flower with some yuho glue. Use the same method to make 5 budding flowers. Some of them can have only 3 petals, some of them with 5, and some with 8 petals. The idea is having budding flowers in different stages to grow into the opened flowers so it looks like it's blooming. They should look like this in different stages. Now we are putting the whole branch together. Cut 4 pieces of small bottom leaves and 10 of the flower's bottom leaves. Attach 2 pieces of small bottom leaves to the piece of 18 gauge wire. Expand a bit in the middle and attach another two pieces just below the first two leaves. Then add a piece of big bottom leaf to the first and open budding flower. the smallest budding flower and wrap it to the wire stem. Open up a big bottom leaf and place it on top of the budding flower and cover some of the wire stem. Carefully expand the bottom leaf. Place another budding flower 2 to 3 cm below the last one. Add 5 budding flowers to the wire stem. Remember to place the smallest budding flower on the top and the more open up one at the bottom. After we have done the budding flowers, we can add the flowers to the branch slowly. Bend the flower head slightly and wrap the flowers to the branch with a 5cm gap in between. One facing the left, one facing the right. I have added 6 flowers to my branch. Adjust the flowers and trim your excessive wires away. Keep wrapping until you have reached the bottom. Then our saw lily is done. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials.
and all our DIY kits and templates are available on our website. Check them out. See you guys next week.